this is Chloe, and today in my fifth crochet along, we will be making a purse. For this tutorial, you will need some fabric, thread that matches your fabric, a measuring tape, scissors, and a sewing machine. So let's get started. First off, you'll want to thread your machine. I'm using the Brother XM2701 sewing machine. Now let's cut the fabric. I have folded my fabric in half like this. So now we will cut our fabric six, six inches by six inches. So measure six inches with our measuring tape. Six inches. And then mark this right here, and I will show you what to do next. Now that we have marked that, we have to cut it. So find the spot that you cut. Then cut all the way to the mark. It's alright if, if it isn't perfect because we'll be folding this right side out. Cut it lengthwise. And you should have a little square that looks something like this. Now it's time to sew. Now take your two pieces of fabric and make them face each other with the right sides touching. And then go over it to your machine and make it have about three eight well three eighths to one half inches of um the stitch allowance. I mean um the measurement over here. Put your presser foot down. And make sure your machine is on so you can actually sew. Now, start sewing. Guide it 
ride it as you go. Stop and make sure that the needle is down. Go up and turn. I'm using a free, um, the third setting for the stitch length. So go down and keep sewing. Stop and make sure your needle's down. Turn it. Put the presser foot down. And start sewing again. Stop and do a back stitch. Now cut your thread. I have a thread cutter on the side. And this is what it should look like. Now cut the threads that are just hanging around. The reason why we did a back stitch was because we want to make our work as um, as sturdy as possible. Now turn it right side out. Make the corners be um, all the way out. I, I, I'm going to use a pen to make these go out. You can really use anything that is in sort of the shape of a stick. It's fine if it isn't all the way out, though, because you probably can't do it all the way out. And now we can start doing the hem for the top. Now pin the um, top after you fold this down. You'll want to fold this down because um, you don't want the jagged edges if there are any but it just makes it look better. And pin it all the way around. Like this. And after that, we can start sewing the hem. I finished um, doing the pins for the bag. Now we will want to start sewing the hem. So take one of the pins out and to where you actually have room to sew. And always make sure that the purse is flat. If not, you might be sewing the actual purse and not the hem, and that would not be good. I've done that before myself, and 
I had to undo it. So, put the presser foot down. And then you can start sewing. I'm still doing the three third setting. Make sure you're not going too fast. If you accidentally get off the track, you can just do a back stitch. And sew all the way around. I'm at the end of this, so now do it forward for a second, then do a back stitch, go forward again, and stop. Lift the presser foot, then cut it. And now you're basically done, but we will still have to make the handles. So since we did a back stitch, we have extra durability. So whenever we cut it, it won't just fall apart easily. Cut all of the little threads. And then we can start making the handle. Now, to make the handles measure 21 inches so make this be out all the way and measure 21 inches or as long as you can I'm going to do 20 inches um, and then cut right where the mark is and then measure 2 inches no matter how long it is, and then cut there, and then cut where the 20 inch mark is, mine is right here. And go up to the two inch mark and then cut all the way down to the end of your fabric
do this twice to make two handles and I'll show you what to do next. Then just make one and then flip it over then fold it in half. Now pin the fold like this and do that all the way up to the end. Now fold the bottom edge in half. And then pin that with the same pins you just pinned the other half. I finished pinning both edges, now we will start sewing. I'm going to do the zigzag stitch. So now, put, it, put your handle into the sewing machine and start sewing with the zigzag stitch. Take the pin out too. basically just um, sewing all the cuts. The reason why I did, I'm did, i doing these zigzag stitches because I want to make sure that all of the belt is getting sewn into it to where it doesn't fall apart later. Go back stitch. And then Um, cut off the thread. Now that we have made the um, handle, we will sew it onto the purse. So put the handle right here like this and then go to your sewing machine. Make sure that it's flat and that none of the other parts of your bag are in the way. So whenever that happens, you just want to re-thread the machine like this, just as you would if you were first starting. And then do it again.
take the bag, make the right side of the handle be showing so that it doesn't look not very good. Put the presser foot down once it's all in place. And then do a back stitch. then do this for the other side and this is what both your sides should look like this is what your finished product should look like for more tutorials please subscribe and also please be sure to check out my Etsy shop thanks for watching bye